There we go. I kind of get everybody in frame here. Uh, we ain't gonna worry about who's in frame. Okay, so who's this on the stand? Sweetie. Why is she on the stand? Because she's making too much milk for her babies. Okay, so a downfall of having a good producer is when something goes wrong, it goes really wrong, huh? Yep. So, and literally her bag is too, um, <sighs> taken two, three times that much out of it, and her bag is still dragging on my bucket. So, and my hands are not conditioned to do this. This is the first milking, isn't it, baby? I know. Um, and she's sore, right? Yep. Okay, so RJ, give the rundown of what's going on and why I'm having to milk. Her baby. We have two babies that need this. Yep. Her two babies are not being able to suck on her teats because they're too big. Okay, but so. what started this? Um, all the cold weather, and they didn't get a good start on sucking on her. Yep, and we're talking like it's Oklahoma, and it's been in the single digits, correct? Yep. Okay, baby, I know. And I am going to try and empty her bag. This is good colostrum. We'll just have to heat it up and get it to those babies, supplement them. It's okay, baby, I know. And she is probably sore. She gave birth, what time yesterday? Noon-ish. So... Yeah, somewhere um, around there. We've actually taken the babies, and it kind of makes it hard when your bucket is too tall. So I may, I've got some uh, stainless steel buckets or bowls inside, and I may start milking into one of those just until we get it under control. Because this is not the only goat we have that, with this problem, do we? No, Holly's the same way right now. Her babies just aren't sucking enough to take all the milk out of her. And we normally don't take for the first 10 days, do we? No. So, and we haven't checked Leighton, but Leighton seems to be doing okay. Yep, Leighton's doing good, but she's never been milked either. Nope, but not. if I have to, I will. So. Okay, so what happens if we don't take off the milk? They'll get mastitis. Okay, and what does that mean? Uh, the milk basically goes bad in their bag, and it yeah. causes big problems. Yeah, it spoils in their bag. So, I've got enough out that it's not, but she is still super full. So, I'm going to have to go find a bowl that will fit under because she can't. It hurts her to have this on her, and it doesn't give me any room to put my hands on because her bag is taking up this whole thing. So, I'm going to go find a bowl and get back to it, right? And go feed your babies. I know. Hi, guys. I'm okay. Here. Two seconds. One, two. I'm done. Two uh -huh. seconds. No, you're not. Okay. So, we have taken out all the pins out of here. What's going on? Why? Well, Leighton and Holly are fussing. But um, we've got two lights. We're redoing this. Why are we doing this? Because this is now a what? Goat sanctuary. Kid nursery. Goat sanctuary. All right, where's Sweetie's babies? In the house. Okay. So with 17 degree weather, these are the babies that have been born. We have awesome produ milk producers. She is really sore. I've <laughs> Leighton, get your own babies. Um, this is going to go on, but it would go on out in the pasture anyway, would it right. not? So talk to us about, it's been in the single digits, almost negative with wind chill, yep. right? Normally it's not like this for March. It's no. normally twenties and thirties, right? It's normally like forties and fifties. During the day, but I mean at night. So the more bodies in here, the more, um, Holly's burying her babies now. She's looking for hay. The flake of hay is over here that she's supposed to be eating. And she doesn't want to leave her babies because Leighton's there. And Leighton's baby is laying under the lights. So, anyway. But the babies are doing good. Um, sweeties, too, are doing much better, are they not? Yep. But we're trying it with two lights um, and getting a, a hot spot in the center for them. And hopefully they'll... They bond. Holly just had hers two days. two days ago. And we lost Maxine, which we think is just because of the cold. Yep. One heat lamp just was not cutting it. So um, we redid it, right? Yep. And this is going to be where they'll stay until it warms up on, what, Saturday? Yeah, it's supposed to be warm up gradually. Okay, so we're going to get off here, go heat up colostrum get those babies fed again and they need to get a little bit stronger and I've got to milk her out. Um, we talked a little bit about it in the first part of this video, um, which will probably be following this. We 
recorded them backwards, but anyway. Oh. I don't know which order I'll put them in. I'll probably just slap them together. Y'all know us. We're one take wonders. Um, camera off, camera on. You see them blend together with a transition. That's it. So there is our babies. We have good producing milk, good milk producers, but not right now they're pr producing too much. Yep. Right. And we got to get a handle on this and get their babies doing it. So they're just so doggone cute. RJ, show us. Get ears. No. The one with ears. This is, I know. This is Layton's baby. This is Superman. Superman. And he's a little matcha, so he does not have ears before anybody says anything. His mom is a little matcha right there. Yes, they have horns, and he's got little nubbies right here, and he has no ears. So he is doing amazing. Layton is doing really good. Okay, quit. Quit, quit, quit. Yeah. And go bring Holly's over here. Real quick. She, little Maxine passed, but Bella and Ashley are doing really good. Um, this is Bella. Yes. This is Bella. Bella, Bella Bean. Bella Bean, I know. And they I have a lot of leg under them, don't they? Yep. So, there's Bella. Put her under the light and then go get Ashley. Ashley is also a La Macha. They have jackets on. The only one that we took the jacket off of because it got yucky was um, Superman. So, but he tends to go to the light on his own. He doesn't even wait for mom to put him under there. So, and this is Ashley. Look at those blue eyes. Look at those blue eyes. And she also is La Macha, no ears. Daddy has ears. Mama doesn't. So, and we're going to see is she gets, okay, we're getting a little bit of nursing going on there. She getting on that side, mm -hmm. but it's the other side that's full, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So let's see if the other one gets over there and starts. He's crying, but I think it's too big for. Yeah. What I'll do is we've had this problem in the past with Holly. She produces such good milk that we're we'll have to uh, get the nipple, get the teat down in size. So, yeah. and then they'll do better. All right, we're off here to go to work, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Bye. Okay. Now this is the little girl, right? Yep. All right, and she is. She got her tongue out this side, but she's trying. She's definitely. She's the weaker of the two. And see, he's standing, waiting. Oh, she trying. She's like getting it all over RJ. All right, there. There we go. She got it. She really is trying on her own. So that's a good thing, right? And I still have this much. Now, the milk looks yellow because it's what? Not milk. What is it? Colostrum. That's right. So all this that we are um, taking out will be fed back to them, and we have to make sure that we have. She drank three-fourths of a bottle or half a bottle? Half a bottle. Awesome. All right, let's About try the big. Okay, so just stand her in there, and let's see if she'll. Oh! <laughs> there. Well, she might get back up. They're just she kind. Of, she just. She. They're weak. Um. We didn't catch on until. Well, they didn't look bad until like nine o'clock this morning. They were fine at seven, and then yeah. at nine they just. Whoop. Yeah. They that last two hours. And see, he's trying. Last so they're hours definitely hours hungry. Um. We tried getting them to latch onto Sweetie, but they had issues. Correct. Yep. Because her bag is just dragging the ground so much, right? Yep. So, I'll reach in here and help her up. Camera in hand, probably not the best shot. There we go. Oh. There. We want them to get up and around. Those back legs of theirs will get, um, they're stronger. Yeah. Right now they're kind of weak. And so they look, but they'll start to get stronger and see, she's already looking good. We keep them in a kennel because we're, we also have moose in here. So, I and we, in this cage yeah. he was licking their butts and stuff. yeah, he likes to try and take care of them, but, oh, he's almost taking a half bottle too, huh? Mm -hmm. Do we need to get him some more? Cause he's a little bit bigger. Whoop. He quit right there from there. So. Okay. Oh, he's looking for it though. Yeah, I'll get him a little more. Okay. So, now don't make him fall over. Let him stand up. There we go. Oh, 
He just butted her because he's wanting some more. See, they're going to go to suck on each other. They're still a little weak, but at least their appetites are coming along, which is good. And, all right, so RJ, discuss the worst case scenario right here, right now. Um, if we can't get Hall, uh, Sweetie, Sweetie wants them, but if they cannot suck on Sweetie, what happens? They'll be bottle babies. Yep. So, um, it is what it is. Oh, she's pee peeing. And yes, we'll change that blanket a hundred times. But he's bullying her. <laughs> he's not really bullying her. He just wants something to drink and RJ slow. You know how that is. Them slow boys. Huh, RJ? Yep. But, and she got dirty butt. She had poopies. Hey, you. Yeah. So, looking better. Looking much better than they were nine o'clock this morning. Correct? Yep. So, um, rough start for the first 12 hours, but we honestly thought that one heat map would do it. They've all got sweaters on. We thought that would help. Um, just too cold, isn't it? Yep. So, he's going to make a mess, but that's okay. As you can tell, we weren't really ready. We didn't think, this, did would be, this, we didn't think this would be a problem. So, we've got dishes. We've got ironing board up here. Um... I had to work half a day, so and then I had a dentist appointment. So if I'm slurring my words, it's because I'm uh, you're gonna have to get a hold of him. He says, oh, Where is it? Where is it? Watch his umbilical cord, sir. <laughs> All right, okay, and there he goes. They're just now getting the hang of the bottle, so um. If we can get her teats down small enough, they'll recognize it and just go to sucking on it because they'll suck on anything, huh? Yep. But, and this is colostrum, so it's not like they're not getting colostrum. They're getting only stuff from their own mom. We're not cross doing Holly and Sweetie. So, that's a good thing. And she's standing quite a long time, too, which is building her muscles. So... <laughs> Don't give him too much. You can give him scary now. Oh, there's only part of the bottle. Oh, okay. It wasn't full. <laughs> if she drinks all this, it'll be good. Okay. Oh. He's getting full, so he's yeah. playing with it. Yep. Time to stop. All right. So, they're doing good. And we'll get this, I'll get this video put together so everybody can see what's going on and get it posted. And he's going to beat up sister. Oh, will you take sister out of there and love on her just long enough for her to, him to quit. And then I've got to bring in, we've got blankets here. We'll have to bring some more blankets in. Just offer her some. She's still, she still, she still, she can't figure out what to do with that tongue. She says, I don't know. Oh, and then when she gets it, she goes like straight out. But she's trying. I love to hear that sound. Anytime they latch on, you hear those bubbles. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. It's a little bit left in there, though. 